All right, so today we've got a three mile warm up, 25K fartlek, three mile cool down, and then a four mile double tonight. So it'll be about 25, 26 mile day. We're at mile 0.7 right now. Um, feeling okay. Got, got, uh, got some problems for sure, but they seem like they're all warming up. How's that get going? Um, today's a big day. We're about a little over four weeks out from Boston Marathon. And this is a crucial workout for me. Um, we do it once per marathon cycle. And it's 1K hard, 1K float. And what we'll be shooting for today is something like three flat for the K on and 325 for the K off. Um, when I did this before Chicago, I did on an extremely fast route and I averaged about 504 for the whole workout. Today, we're doing a much harder route. So I think if I could average around 510, that'd be a really, really good day. And honestly, with the way I've been feeling and everything going on, just getting the workout done today and finishing it would be a really great step. So, and then running 510 would be uh, cherry on top. So yeah, this is a huge workout. We're also gonna practice fueling every 5K. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, I'll even actually wear my racing uniform. It's really a dry run mentally and physically a month out getting ready for the marathon and, and what it's gonna take, so. So what a farlick is, it's a, I think it's a Swedish word that basically means speed play. And what you're doing is um, you're running quite fast for the on efforts, and then you're recovering and running easy to moderate on the off efforts. And that's basically what a fartlek is. And so it's obviously, you would never wanna run this way in a, in a race. It hurts your average. Um, it's not the most efficient way to run. And that's exactly why we do this workout. It's 25K in and out. And two reasons Dathan really likes it. It's a sneaky way to burn a lot of fuel and check and see how your fuel system is doing with only running 15 and a half miles. Normally you would have to run quite a bit farther than that to see how your fuel's going. You need to run like probably like 22, 20 or something. Um, but because I'm running so much of this workout at 430 to 440 pace, you're burning a lot more fuel than you would by just staying um, super smooth and consistent at 506 pace, which is what I average for this workout. Um, and yeah, so it's just a huge key session for Dathan. Um, he could probably answer the question a little bit better than me, but I just know that it's, it's one of the only workouts that I've seen us do twice um, in Chicago. I did it in Chicago build up and now I've done it in my Boston build up. So I know it's super important to him. My fueling strategy on race day is I drink three to four ounce of Gatorade Endurance every uh, bottle stop, which is gonna be every 5K. And then along with that, every 10K, I drink a, I have a Gatorade Endurance gel. Um, and specifically, I have the strawberry caffeine one. Um, I love the caffeine. I, I really feel like it helps my mind stay really present late in the race, which is super important. Um, so yeah, it's three to four ounces of Gatorade Endurance every 5K. And then at 10K, we're getting a bonus boost with um, the drinking the Gatorade Endurance, but also uh, gel as well. So the shoes that I'm wearing in this workout and the shoes that I'm gonna wear in the Boston Marathon is the brand new Endorphin Pro Plus. Um, I love the Endorphin Pro, the original Endorphin Pro. I, I broke the American record in it and I ran 210 in it. Um, and this is basically, they've just put on a new upper, but there's something about it that it's allowing the carbon plate and allowing the foam to react more effectively with this upper. And it just feels fantastic. It feels super snappy. Um, I've done a lot of really great workouts with it. And uh, I'll be wearing that on race day and, and hopefully, um, hopefully be mixing it up in Boston with this great shoe.
There's a few key workouts that Dathan likes to do a dry run of race day, and that's exactly what, what t today was. So not only is it important that I have a great 25K in and out workout, but it's important that I wear the socks I'm gonna wear, I wear the sunglasses, I wear the singlet, I, I fuel I, I fueled a bunch in this workout, I fueled every 5K, which I don't really need to do that. Um, I, I would be fine probably almost not feeling at all in this workout, um, but that's not the point. The point is to practice drinking those fluids, make sure everything feels good, um, feels effective, feels efficient, and uh, yeah, that's why we do that to, to walk away from the workout, just feeling really good, not only about fitness, but also about um, everything else that's important to executing a, a really big day. Good job, man. That was awesome. Here you go. Today couldn't have gone any better. I was hoping to average 510 for the whole workout. I averaged 507. Um, that's like basically what I started at too, so I stayed super consistent. Uh, the thing that I learned that was really good is my power is really good. Um, I, I only had 1K, my slowest K was 302, and that was the, one, the final one up the really steep hill. Um, I also had some 250, I had a 250, 250, no, probably 251K in there, but I was hoping to run like three flat for my Ks, and I was running 251 to 258 like the whole time pretty much. So um, power's really good, uh, my offs were just okay. Um, I definitely was recovering a little bit more, so I need to work on like having a good rhythm. But uh, to have power like that is, is really exciting for the marathon, especially on a course like uh, Boston.